Welcome to Meditate With Marie. It's day three of my Positive Influences series and I am live here on Instagram, a little change from the usual Facebook. I've got my trusty sidekick Bramble with me and with a little bit of luck, we will have a special guest who I can see is ready to join us live. So let me see if I can connect him in. <laughs> With a bit of luck, we might have author Adam Bushnell with us soon. He is someone who I met in yoga class and is a positive influence on myself as well as other people. And if I can't accept him in, I might be able to request for him to to join us okay so while we're just waiting for that connection to go ahead i'm gonna just briefly introduce you to what this series is about so positive influences is one of my ways of well-being it's one of the positivity practices that comes under my 14 ways that we can improve our health and our well-being and our positivity mindset it's one of the chapters in my book and it was one of the um, subjects or categories in my positivity project when it was an original social media series. Let me see what I can do. Okay, we're not connecting, but we can keep trying. Adam, keep trying if you can. Oh, yes, here we go. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> Hi, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm just going to turn the volume up. All right. Can you hear me okay? I can indeed. I'm, I'm going headphones because I, I thought um, it might be easier. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how they go. Whatever and I've got, a, I've got a mood lamp going on as well. Very nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. What sort I'm of mood actually, are you in? Um, I've had the log burner on all day. It's a really rainy day here in um, County Durham, but it's not it's not cold. But I just thought I'm going to put the log burner on and put the cosy lights on and things. Nice. Simply because it makes me feel good. Fantastic. I'm going to, um, there you go, log burner vibes. How about Fabulous. That? I like, can you change that color? <laughs> yeah, you just, what do you want? It will. Yeah. Um, blue. Oh, fantastic. No. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Yeah. So the whole point of positive influence is um, to try and make people a little bit more aware, to try and inspire them, to make them more aware of who, what and where has a positive impact on them mm -hmm. compared to a negative impact. And it's just cultivating that mindful awareness so that people can choose to spend a little less time and focus on the negative or restrict their time in negative situations or with people and just bring in more of that, what makes them feel good especially physically like you you know if somebody makes you feel tense or negative or angry you kind of tense up in the body don't you mm, but if yeah. somebody makes you feel joyful and uplifted and they're really fun to be around you just laugh and you feel lighter when you're around them that's that's the whole point and it's not just people it's things that we do and places we go so with that in mind, I'd like to ask you, who, what or where has a positive impact on you and your health and your well-being? Obviously, yoga and meditation would be some, but what else? Yeah, sure. Um, well, actually, that was very well timed. You might have noticed that my light kind of went out there. That was my tortoise lamp that just went out. Um, <laughs> What's so a tortoise my, lamp? It's, it's literally a lamp for my tortoise. Um, yeah, my, my pet tortoise is the, is the most chill creature you will ever meet on the planet. Um, would you like to meet the tortoise? Yes, I didn't know you had a tortoise. This is amazing. I've never had a tortoise in my live videos before. <laughs> so, this is Jet the tortoise. Oh my uh, let's, let's, goodness. Let's give him a green light. There we go. Can you tell and... which colour impacts him best? Oh yeah, 100%. 100 percent. he is all about green he, he, he won't eat anything unless it's uh, unless it's green food he won't eat red peppers he'll only, only eat green peppers he oh. won't eat red grapes he'll only eat green grapes he's he's all about the green oh my goodness i love he's it cool, isn't it? Cool. he's called jet because he is so fast <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you, Jet. I did have Bramble with me. She was right behind us on the bed looking really, really cute, but she's just wandered off and climbed on a sofa. Oh, so. Fair enough. It's that, it's that kind of, it's that kind of time yeah. of the evening, yeah. isn't it? 
Jet can be anyway. our mascot for the evening. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll just keep him over there, though, so he's not, um, you know, yeah, kind of exactly. poised like that the whole time. I think that's a really, really nice introduction to how our pets can have a positive impact on us. It's, it's actually scientifically proven for our mm. health that pets reduce stress levels. Absolutely. And my, my dog, who you've met before, is a, is a therapy animal. And uh, I take her into primary schools um, around County Durham. She can't really handle a full day. She, um, she tends to do a, a, a half day. Um, but she's, she's unbelievable. She can, there was a school, if you don't mind me sharing this, this story with you, there was a school I went to recently where um, she entered the classroom and she went straight over to um, a particular child and put her head on this child and just, just wanted to stay with this child for the whole morning that we were there. And um, later on, the teacher was talking to me and it turns out, without going into details, but that child had just gone into care. Oh, wow. And, um, and was recently moved into a sort of Tracy Beaker style home and um, was finding life really challenging. And she was actually terrified of dogs, but allowed Belle to put her head on her and uh, and Belle just spent the day cuddling oh. like that. It's 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 you know the dogs are em empathic creatures and they can absolutely pick up on our moods and they know when we need a boost. I'm not sure if tortoises can, but <laughs> they, they, he, he can he can definitely give a That's boost as well. Though it'll be an interesting experiment. <laughs> No, I know what you say. No, I think that's amazing because Bramble's definitely an empath. Um, if anybody's yeah. in pain or emotionally upset, she tends to just want to comfort them. Um, did you see a difference in the child from after? Yeah, I mean, cuddled the dog for a little while. I work um, for those people that don't know. I work as a visiting author, and so I, I travel into schools and I run creative writing workshops. That's that's what I do on a daily basis. And um, and I love my job. I love working with uh, with children in particular because that's my background. I was a primary school teacher, um, and I think that um, you know, obviously, I'm in a different place every day, so I don't know the children as well as their class teachers, as as well as their you know their school families. But um, yeah, I, I I could see an impact. You, you get to read children fairly well, and I could see an impact quite quickly on uh, on on this child where. It just gave her that little boost that she needed, you know, at that time. It was the right thing to happen at that time. And I think it's it's um, it's not just animals who um, give us those positive impacts. As you were mentioning earlier, Marie, like, you know, we, we surround ourselves with positive people that um, that can hopefully give us that boost. Um, I try to do, listen to positive people when I'm driving to work. So um, one of my favourite podcasts is uh, Rangan Chatterjee's podcast. Um, um, it's it, Dr. Randigan Chatterjee. He's just got the best voice, and listening to him as you're driving to work is is just marvelous. You know, it's it's. Uh, I think it's "Live Better, Live More" is the name of the podcast, and um, he uh, he has some amazing guests. Um, he had a guest on recently. Um, I don't know if you've heard of uh, uh, Dr. Edith Eager. I'm just reading her book at the moment, and she's an Auschwitz survivor, oh, wow. and um, she was uh, 15 years old when she was taken into Auschwitz with her family. She was a ballet dancer. And um, she, her family were, were, were killed and you know she saw people being slaughtered and she never knew if she was going to be next. And um, she, um, you know, being at the age of 15, developing the psychological resilience that she did, she, she basically learned how to forgive um, these, um, the, the, the soldiers um, because, what she what she kind of argues in a book is that um, if if she'd have been told the things that those soldiers have been told, if she'd have um, been given that propaganda and that brainwashing that the Nazis did, who knows she might have like you know done the same things that they did. And so what she teaches is all about um, forgiveness and empathy and the power that that can have. Um, the blurb on the back of the book. Um, says that she discovered that the most damaging prison was one in her mind and in this book she draws on her incredible story and experience as a celebrated therapist sharing valuable life lessons and empowering advice so that we too could break free from whatever is holding us back and it's it's a great book wow. um yeah so That's i'm, I'm really kind of powerful. yeah yeah and uh, she was a guest on uh on Rangan Chatterjee's uh, podcast and that was where I discovered her but it's listening to those positive people listening to the that that kind of mindset so that when I arrive at work to hopefully inspire children 
I'm um, I'm in the right frame of mind. I'm in a, a, a frame of mind where I want to inspire and I want to be a positive impact on children's lives. Absolutely. It's like a domino effect, isn't it? Mm. If you were listening to something negative or angry or people ranting or spewing loads of hatred, mm -hmm. that would then be absorbed into you empathically as well. And then that doesn't set you up to go and be an inspiring person for, for young children. Mm -hmm. So um, that's just amazing. You've, you've pretty much just covered so many things that I would have loved to have highlighted, but I'm, I'm just thrilled that you brought up those things in this conversation. Thank you so much. Um, I love podcasts too. I'd rather watch a podcast um, than listen to the news and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What is it that makes you want to inspire children? What, what inspires you to want to inspire children? Um, I suppose when you, um, when you see somebody who's motivated and captivated um, and they want to write or they want to um, be creative or they want to express themselves in some way, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's like a drug. You can't get enough of it. It's just like, you know, it's, as soon as people start, as soon as children in particular, who are like sponges and they just want to, um, they, they want to take in all this creativity and express it in their own ways. That's, that's, it's so addictive. It's, it's fantastic. And, um, I'm not saying that my job is easy every single day. You know, I have I have challenging days as well as great days, just like everybody else. Um, but you've got to kind of like uh, my mantra in the mornings is just to be patient and to be present. And um, I, I want to be there in the moment, because if I'm if I'm not loving what I'm talking about, if I'm not um, feeling excited and enthusiastic, by all the things that I'm talking about, children are never going to love it because um, children that they, they, they can see through any kind of mirage <laughs> that you're trying to create. If you're not feeling on top of your game, you know, they, they can absolutely, that, that's so transparent. And, um, okay. and I think that, you know, you, you have to be genuine. There's an honesty, particularly when you're working with younger children that you have to, um, if, if you're not loving the job, then you shouldn't be in it. And, and luckily, I work with lots and lots of primary school teachers from um, not just um, County Durham, where we live, but also from, um, you know, I, I recently traveled back from um, Shanghai and China, worked with some amazing um, teachers as well as uh, pupils over there. And, um, you know, you, you've, you've got to be you've got to be in the moment. You've got to be present and you've got to be positive. Otherwise, children will just see that and. Um, you're going to lose them lose their interest fairly quickly and uh, yeah. and i think and i think working with young people keeps you young as well it keeps you um oh. very grounded you know children are absolutely they don't mind telling you that they think something's <laughs> shit that you're doing <laughs> not, not perhaps not in those words no. but um oh, they, right they, you, right you, their body language will will 100 percent like you know d demonstrate that um that, that, that they're not into what you're talking about. Yeah. And, um, and you've got to learn from that. You've got to be self-reflective all the time and think that didn't work. I thought that was going to like knock it out of the park for the children and it didn't. So I've got to be self-reflective and think, what can I do to be better? And, and I think that's what's positive about working with children is that you constantly want to better yourself all the time. I think that is fantastic and really inspirational. So you personally cultivate a positive mindset for yourself, not only for your own health and well-being, but you do it so that you can bring your A game to your job mm -hmm. and to the youngsters and everybody else around you, which is exactly what I'm trying to encourage with this series of videos in lots of different ways. Um, so with that in mind, I think I would like to ask you how do you recommend that anybody watching this, whether they're live or watching at a later time and date, how would you recommend that people in their everyday lives can have a positive impact on the children around them? Even just simple things. What, what do you think that people can do to make a bit of a difference? Um, I, I, I've only recently started journaling. It's, it's not something that I've ever done before, but um, I found that journaling helps me to kind of like, um, to process what I'm doing and to, and to perhaps um, keep thinking about what I can do to, to change. I use like a, a, a three question journal and the, the, the three questions are, um, what is one thing you deeply appreciate about your life? This is to do in the morning. 
So that's the first question. What's one thing you deeply appreciate about your life? The second question is, what is the most important thing that you have to do today? Ooh. And the third thing is, what quality do you want to show the world today? I love that. And I think if, if you're working with children, but actually if you're working with anybody, if you're dealing with human beings <laughs> or animals or whatever it is, those are three things that, that I think uh, it, they're just so important to reflect upon. Um, and then at the end of the day, in the evening, the three questions are, what went well today? What did you do for somebody else today? Mm. And what can you do differently tomorrow? I absolutely love those questions. Yeah. And do you do it every day? Um, I've got to be honest, mm -hmm. um, because I'm quite new to this, I'm doing it on a work day and I'm not doing it at the weekend. And I need to kind of like work on that, I think, because um, the weekends, I'm still socially interacting with people, even if I'm not working with children necessarily. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still hoping to be a good person, be a decent human being. It's, it's interesting because I, I read a study recently. This is, um, this is a bit mental, this. Um, <laughs> in America, there are some scientists who conducted an experiment with some laboratory rats. And they had two groups of rats. And these, these two groups of rats were identical. They came from the same litter. They were the same age. Everything about them was identical. But these scientists told the people who worked in the lab, this group of rats are really smart. They are so clever. And they're, they're, they're going to smash this test. They're going to be amazing. This group of rats, they're like your basic lab rat, and we don't need to worry too much about them. But we want to do the same test for these two groups of rats, just to kind of see how they perform. And they, they, it, it was a maze test to find some food. And um, anyway, they conducted the experiment. The rats that they told the people working in the, in the laboratory that they were like talented and they were a gifted set of rats performed better than the other rats even though they were exactly the same rats in exactly the same conditions mm -hmm. and the scientists were completely baffled and thought well this this can't be the case because we haven't just <laughs> manifested it that these rats are going to be. Yeah. An energetic vibration it's, doesn't it's it? got an energy and it, the, that energy what they worked out is the energy of what they said about those rats was transferred to the the, the uh, lab workers and they handle the, those rats much more gently and much more with much more compassion and care than those rats. And because they dealt with the rats with compassion and with care, they performed better. And I think that applies to life. If we are compassionate to each other and we are, are, are caring and empathic and we're nice to other people, other people are going to perform better around us rather than when we're negative and this, these horrible things happen um, or, 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 or we have negative exchanges with people because it all comes back to us. It all just, you know, it's, 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 a, um, it's a cyclical thing. When you're nice to people and when you're compassionate and you're joyful and you're positive, people are generally like that back with you. And when you're negative and when you're nasty, et cetera, or if you're intolerant to people's needs or, or you're intolerant towards their um, towards their opinions, etc. Then, mm -hmm. then that has a huge impact as well. So yeah, yeah. Yes. So hopefully as well. Um, not only do we have this this improvement of our relationships with other people than ourselves, but that can then that energy can then travel onwards like a mm -hmm. ripple effect. So if we can inspire people just to be a bit kinder, a bit more compassionate, and hopefully they will then go away and start being like that towards other people as well. And particularly if you're teaching children and we can all positively influence children in our lives, even if we don't have any, I've got no children, but I spend time with children because all my friends and people like that have them. Mm. Um, it, it has a really big knock on effect. Yeah. Really, really big. Yeah. I said to, I said to a group of children on uh, Monday, um, I said, I, I, I've actually, I can perform a magic trick. Mm. Um, and that they, they, they were a little bit intrigued. And I said, I, I can, I can make you do something, even if you, 
even if you think that I can't, I can definitely make you do this thing. And they were, they were looking up at me. They were only like a reception sort of age group, maybe like year one. And, um, and I smiled at them, gave them this big beaming smile. And um, sorry, that looked a little bit psychotic, actually, didn't it? So, yeah, it, was, it was a bit more of a genuine smile with this group of 30 children. And, uh, and I, I gave this smile and they instantly all smiled back. You can't help it. It's, that, it's, 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 a, it's a human reaction that when somebody it's, it's smiles like, at us, we it's smile like back. You somebody yawns in your face you're going to yawn yeah. back if you yes. smile at somebody yeah. you're going to smile back yeah. how about we challenge everybody watching to um smile at someone tomorrow Absolutely. somebody that you don't know by all means yeah. smile at everybody that you do know but smile at somebody who's a stranger to you anywhere you go tomorrow just make eye contact smile at them say good morning or afternoon and just see what happens Absolutely. I, I tell you where I don't do that though. <laughs> I don't. I don't smile at people in the gym. And <laughs> I, I find that um, if I start smiling at people at the gym, I just I don't know. I just get creepy vibes. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy who's like, hi, like you know, trying to make friends in the gym. So yeah, I'm 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 totally um, the opposite. So if you do go to the gym that I go to. I'm so sorry if I haven't smiled at you. It's if you do, if if this is the only time you've ever seen me, and then you see me at the gym, I'm like the opposite of what you'd expect. But I'm just, I'm just heads down, heads down, Polarity. concentrating. I, I, yeah, I, I just, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be the smiley guy at the gym. That's really funny. Just for the record, Adam does smile in yoga class, <laughs> but not at the gym. Yeah, no, the gym. No yoga. It's a bit more of a social environment. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. There we go. Absolutely. Adam, thank you so much for your time tonight. I really appreciate no you um, having this conversation. I appreciate you coming live for the first time on your social media. Um, and thank you for being a positive influence on myself, everybody else around us, and for just being aware of what we can do as human beings to positively impact other people's health and well being. Well, Thanks, Marie. And, and those people who may not have read your book, um, that's been a massively positive influence on my life as well. Your, your book oh, is the 14 practices are, are just perfect. It's everything that I'm about. You know, I am reading like Edith Eager and, and people like that and Rangan Chatterjee. But um, your, your book is, is absolutely up there with those and, and sits proudly on the shelf with those other books. So if you, if you <laughs> haven't got it, everybody, then that's the positive influence well, that you need in your life. Thank you very much. I am um, learning to accept that easier. Um, it's it's really nice to have somebody who's an actual professional author say that about my work. Um, I literally wrote from the heart and I wrote because I wanted to um, show people how I cultivate a positive mindset and encourage them. I don't tell people what to do in the book. I just invite them to try a few things for themselves. And it's, in, and it's an invitation for people just to be their own powerhouse of positivity but just the fact that you believe in the value of its contents mm -hmm. that is something i'm incredibly grateful for so thank you very much and thank you for positively encouraging me right from the get-go to write it create it publish it and set it free fantastic okay or right. thanks for chatting that's been really nice i go to bed about nine o'clock so this is quite yeah. crazy for me yeah. me too my day <laughs> off so if i've stayed up deliberately just Woo. this live i wanted to go to bed about <laughs> two hours ago but um, 9 p.m which is the time we linked up that is my gratitude time i always have yeah. a little song on my phone 9 p.m every night so i let the gratitude alarm go off and then i hit live on the video so when we've ended the video i will go off and express my gratitude well for this conversation okay. for a start but everything else that's that's great in my life today <laughs> brilliant so, i'll do the same thing with my journal thank you very much appreciate it and thank you everyone who has joined us feel free to leave a comment after we've we've gone and let us know what you're doing for yourselves or if this conversation has been at all helpful feel free to tag anybody else in that you might feel that it is valuable for. So there we go. Brilliant. From myself and Adam. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Adam. Bye for night now. Night all. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.